Mongolia. Seven centuries ago, it was the heart of the largest empire in world history. Today, to most outsiders, Mongolia remains a land of mystery. It's the home of Naran Tungalag Jadamba, the first and only Mongolian born title holder in one championship history. To Jadamba, this heritage is what gives him his greatest strengths. Of course, the greatest of the Mongolian warriors was their leader, Genghis Khan, the man who serves as the standard for all Mongolian men. Inspired by history's greatest conqueror, Jadamba set off on an unprecedented streak in 2007, losing only once due to a freak injury. With 10 wins in the last eight years, Jadamba is crafting a career that's turned him into a legend in Mongolian MMA, the greatest fighter the country has produced. But it's his last victory, a five-round dismantling of then one featherweight world champion, Koji Oishi, that earned him his greatest honor, one championship gold. <laughs> Jadamba takes his role as the sports ambassador very seriously, and he continues to open the eyes of his countrymen in the gym. Jadamba wants to bring more pride to his country in the biggest fight of his career, his first title defense against one championship's number one contender, Marat Gafarov. On the 27th of September, he travels to Jakarta, Indonesia to put Mongolia's international reputation on the line against the undefeated and dangerous challenger from Dagestan, Russia. Marat Gafarov knows something about being brave. As a youngster, his parents lived and worked in Siberia, 4,000 kilometers away from Dagestan. Давно, конечно, все время дагестанцам приходилось защищаться. Поэтому они физически с малых лет начинали закалять себе. Потому что у нас народ чуть суровый, здесь они, если ты слабый, тебя скрызут здесь. Ну, у нас все стараются, чтобы сама защита. Это же первоначально мужчина должен защищать себя. Вот от этого и начинается все. 
и наши стараются до дистанции. Вот, и себе защищать. Ну, один раз там, например, друга побили толпой, и я пришел и сразу подался за счету. Потому что если слабый, это не справедливо, если ты сильный, ты слабого ущемляешь, это, думаю, и ты можешь это придать тебе, то почему ты не сделал? But it's the respect of his family that means the most to him. My family, our parents, they didn't approve. They said that it's a child's thing to do. But I always listened to myself. I didn't listen to anyone. I went to the end. Honestly, I'm proud of him. There's success in him, so I'm proud of him. And he starts to achieve his goal. That's why we're doing it. We're doing it. It's a big happiness for the first time. Все друзья начинают звонить и так далее, все поздравляют. Даже с Москвы, с Бельгии начинают. И во всех странах есть наши люди. Они все смотрят. И это очень радостно бывает в сердце. Все это увидеть, конечно. Proudly representing his country means a lot to Gafarov. But even more important to the family is extending his legacy through his son. Я бы хотела, чтобы сын взял вообще, ну, был такой же характер, как у Марата, настойчивым, таким же целеустремленным. Ну, не знаю, Марат сам все сделает для этого. It's Russia versus Mongolia, as undefeated Marat Gafarov challenges the one featherweight world champion, Naran Tungalov Jadamba, on the 27th of September, when one championship returns to Indonesia. With a full night of fights featuring international MMA stars Roger Huerta, Koji Ondo, Jake Butler, Leandro Atides, Casey Swear, Angela Lee, Timofey Nas Yuhin, and Vincent Latoul's return to Jakarta. Yeah, it gives me a proud feeling. I can't describe it, but there's something that it's in my veins to be in Luton. We are like warriors. On the 27th of September. Don't miss Odyssey of Champions, broadcast around the world in over 70 countries and available online at OnePPV.com.